Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to get a facial done by my friend Mara. She works at this place called Beauty Box and they pretty much do everything. So um, I'm gonna go there. My appointment is at 1230 and it snowed a crap ton. I guess not like a ton, but definitely a lot to me. So I'm gonna go see what my car looks like right now because that's what I don't feel like cleaning. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's not bad. Oh, someone definitely wiped that off for me. Whoever did that for me this morning, thank you. I appreciate you. So I'm gonna shower and do my hair and then I'm gonna get ready to go to Beauty Box. I've never actually been there before. I've never actually seen it either. Um, and apparently I pass it, or used to pass it, every day when I was on my way to St. Clair. So I'm not exactly sure, but um, we'll see. And uh, I'm super excited because I've never gotten a professional facial done before. So this will be interesting. I'm gonna record it for you guys just so you can see because why the hell not? I wish I could just stand in here forever. It feels so good. So I'm not exactly sure what I should put on my face. I put lotion on my face every day, but because I'm getting a facial, I don't know if I should be putting lotion on my face, but I don't exactly know. I'm going to just because it feels super dry. Like my cheeks and stuff feel like really dry. And my eyelids, oddly. For some reason. I felt like it was because I was like rubbing them too much. But honestly, I just don't know. I really don't have a clue. My hands have been extremely dry too. And I put lotion on every single day. So, it's just this weather. Um, working as a server, you're washing your hands all the time. I think I have a cut in my lip. Working as a server, you're washing your hands all the time. So, that, does, that doesn't help at all. Um, but I am super excited to go get this facial done because, I've, like I said, I've never had one. I just don't exactly... I think I kind of know what to expect, but that's just from what you see through pictures. So I'm excited to actually be the one in, or like on the table getting everything done. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And the nice thing about my hair is it's already straight. It's really just kind of puffy. So when I straighten it, it just makes it flatter. It literally takes me like all together about 10 minutes to do my hair. Guys, I'm so excited. I can't wait, I'm so excited. So I'm going to have Mara introduce herself, but the way I met her was through Texas Roadhouse. She really is one of the sweetest people. She's so cute too. And I'm sure she's going to have her makeup done today and she does amazing makeup. Like She's done my makeup for me one time and I absolutely fucking love right, it. Alright guys, so I'm in Beauty Box right now. A, another lady is in there doing an appointment in Mara's room. So when she's finished, then Mara and I are going to go ahead and head back there and get this facial done. This is seriously the cutest little fucking place, I swear to God. I'm going to have to record it all, but I'm being quiet because it's super I'm straight up being pampered right now. Like, how cute is this? I'm so excited. All right, so I'm gonna first apply a cleanser and we're gonna use a very, very foamy cleanser because it's going to help dry out the skin a little bit because for a microdermabrasion, you don't want any excess oil on the skin or it's gonna just interrupt the way that the crystals exfoliate. It feels so soft. <laughs> it is. I love this cleanser. I don't know if it's the cleanser or like your a, hands. <laughs> like, it's my hands. But a tip I have for you guys 
um, when you're washing your face is to wash your face for 60 seconds, which sounds ridiculous. Like, mm, everyone thinks that they wash their face for a minute, but the average person washes their face for 15 to 30 seconds, and that's not enough time for a product to do anything to your skin. So you need to at least wash your face for 60 seconds, if not more. More would be preferable, but 60 seconds is like doing the bare minimum. I never felt like knew what was good for my skin when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. And it took me a really long time to realize that fragrance is really bad for your skin. So like Neutrogena and stuff, they add so many fragrances to your s products, like your face wash or your moisturizer or anything. And I didn't know that. Well, fragrance just has alcohol in it and you're not just gonna put straight up alcohol on your face. So you're not just gonna put straight up fragrance on your face. So what does alcohol do to your skin? When it just it's dries it out completely. Dries out your skin, doesn't allow for any oil. And that's the way that your skin keeps itself soft, you know? Right. Okay, so done cleansing. I'm gonna go ahead and tone. I just feel like a few little sprays. Toner is really important too. It's a product that a lot of people skip when it comes to skincare because they don't think it's very important, but um, it is. It balances out your pH. Um, what is next? What does the toner do besides balance it out? Like when you spray it on there, what's the what's it evens it supposed out, to? Like the what's the purpose of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To even out your skin tone and okay. give it just like a nice radiant complexion. I'm gonna put on these little eye pads. <laughs> and we're gonna dry out her face even more, which I've been talking about doing this whole video and saying is wrong and then I'm gonna go ahead and do it now. <laughs> but it's important for this facial <laughs> so necessary it's necessary yeah Mara tell everyone your Instagram name for your um, beauty and just oh shameless general. plug yeah um Mara on the beat maybe if Chelsea's good at editing she can put it on the screen I'll here. put it on there for you guys <laughs> so Mara on the beat follow me okay so now we're actually gonna do the thing the facial thing all right so we're gonna put on some protective or glasses and I'm gonna put on some gloves. And I'm gonna show you guys the machine that I'm using in a second. It doesn't feel like anything. Um, a lot of people are scared of what microderm is gonna feel like. They always come in and ask, is it gonna hurt? But no, it's not gonna hurt. It's, at most, it's gonna feel like a little like suction on your skin, but nothing crazy. It's actually a really cool feeling, I think. Let's get started. So this is the microderm machine that we use at Beauty Box. Um, we have two different types of crystals. The one on the left, that's brown. This is our organic walnut. The one on the right is aluminum oxide. They don't really truly have too much of a difference. Some people say it's better to use this on a deeper skin tone and this on a lighter skin tone, but truly, it really doesn't matter. I actually really like using the organic walnut shells on people with lighter complexion because I think it gives them a really, really nice glow at the end. So that's what we're gonna be using today. And you can adjust the suction here. I usually have my suction up pretty high so we can get good results. Unless the person has really, really sensitive skin and then we'll turn it down a little bit. This is the pen. Put a little cap on it and it dispenses the crystals which you'll see me use here in a second. Are you ready? I am. So I'm gonna start on the cheek. You can start really anywhere you want with a microderm. Um, in school they taught us to start on the forehead, but for me it's just easier to start over here.
Tip with microderm um, is to go slower over any scars or vegetation. But Chelsea has really good skin, so I don't want to leave it on her skin for too long and make it too abrasive. She doesn't really have too many spots that need that much attention, so I'm kind of going a little bit faster than I would on somebody who actually has like problematic skin. to get more people into skincare. I think it's really important to take care of your skin. It's our biggest organ and it's the fastest organ that we have to deteriorate. A lot of people wait until they're older and start taking care of their skin, which by then you're not going to see very many um, results because you've already gone your whole life doing nothing. So don't wait till you're older. As many of you guys who watched my video on how I used a perfumed lotion on my face and it was making me break out, you guys definitely know that I care about my skin, so coming here was something that I was extremely excited to do because I do like having nice skin and I want to keep up on that and I want to be someone when I get older who still looks younger. So like she said, you know, start when you guys are younger. Don't wait until you're out of your 30s to start doing this stuff. It's very important. And I feel like people think that it's just like something that you do when you're trying to treat yourself, but it's I feel like it's something that you need to do like you're going to a dentist, you know? Like treat your esthetician like she's your doctor in a way because she's going to save you. I promise. If you keep up with your skin and you invest in your skin, you're going to see results. You just have to understand that it's not gonna be the cheapest process in the world. It'll be worth it though, because when you're older I recommend that to anybody and to you actually um, get a serum that has hyaluronic acid and start using it after your toner and your cleanser and you're gonna see results so fast it's it's literally yeah she's right it's life-changing so I, I wanted to get that. I was going to get it when it was on sale, but it even on sale, it's two twenty five. I'm yeah, like, God, do I really want to spend that? But I do. <laughs> like, yeah. There's another product, too. It's actually by Dr. Lee. She's a dermatologist. Um, and she she's Dr. Pimple Popper, if you've heard oh, of her. I know the one. <laughs> I know the, the icon. And she has this skincare product that she it's supposed to like help get rid of acne scars and help with acne if you guys are lucky enough to have good skin like you should really be taking care of it because there are people <clears throat> out there like that you know don't have the option of having the genetics that they got and you know they have to spend tons of money on even trying to fix what isn't their fault so if you guys do have good skin take care of it if you have not the best skin take care of it you know amen take care of your skin being the moral of the story don't wait until it's too late to take care of it. don't wait until you see a problem basically is what we're trying to say okay so what I just did um, I didn't take off the crystals I buffed them into your skin kind of did more of a deeper exfoliation after we already exfoliated and then I put a little bit of stress solution on there which is a serum that helps with just irritated skin, red skin, and I'm just putting like a soothing mask on it you. It feels good. Yeah. 
I love this mask. I do hate taking it off though because it's a pain really? in the ass. It's a, kind of just a pain in the ass because it's made of oatmeal, really soothing properties, but it's it dries really fast. So it's just kind of a pain in the ass to take off. And people like to use this as the main mask for um, a microderm, but I like to use this as like a pre-mask to the main mask and only leave this on for like five, six minutes. Oh, this smells good. Is this uh, SPF? Mm -hmm. God. I love the smell of sunscreen. Me too. I love it. That's the end of the facial, man. That's it? That's it. Guys, my face feels so good. I feel good. <laughs> I'm relaxed as fuck right now. Ugh. That's it, everybody. So, we're officially done. And my skin has seriously never felt better. Can you guys see this right now? This is amazing. Like, oh my God. I feel like I have a baby face. I absolutely love this. I also wanted to show the room that they do it in. Those are my clothes, don't mind. But this is just so cute. Every step. You got a mirror. This is not good for someone like me. And it's so open. It's so wow. cute. Um, More mirrors. Well, what type of lashes were you looking for? Did you want eyelash extensions or did you just want like stripping eyelashes? Can you get your hair done in here? Guys, they really have everything. You have to come here.